My name's Redlack, a pro player, and so many of you guys have asked for my four triple two custom tactics. So when I asked on my last tactics video whether I should release it, and so many of you guys said yes, I had no choice but to release it today. So let's get into the tactics. This is the team we were using in these clips, except we had Zanetti instead of Frimpong. Now, as you can see, we've got a very good personnel for each position in the four triple two. Now we've got so many of these foot champions cards, and our team is very, very good. However, it doesn't matter. You can use a worse team, and I'll talk to you about what you need in each each position now without further ado let's get into the custom tactics now once you're in the custom tactics you want to hit l2 and pick another one of these now you're probably thinking what's the difference between attacking defensive i don't want to go on ultra defensive guys like i've said before they all do the same thing they may as well say one two three and four they do not change your players instructions so today we're going to go on ultra defensive and pick four triple two now i've already moved these players into position this is exactly how we had it for the clips and let's get straight into them tactics so let's get into it i'm not trying to waste your time guys we have balanced defensive style and 37 width now why do we have 37 width we used to have 40 now i really liked 40 but i feel like now because you can switch it so easily it's easy to just be a bit more compact, let them have the switch, and then you can deal with that later on. For depth, there's no changes here. We're going for our standard, what I like to use in 72. Now, I told you before, guys, you can use whatever you like here. If you don't like 72, like a lot of casual players, you can use 57, 55, maybe even 50 to keep that team just a bit deeper. I like to press high, get the offside traps going, and make sure my opponent knows I'm there. For offense, we're going for balance and direct passing. Who would have thought? It's the same in every single video. So I apologize for that, but what can you do? That's just the meta. Width, we're going all the way up this time. As I said before, always higher than the defensive style. We're going for 50. Now, this is really important in the 4 triple 2 because then wide players need to be high and wide. They need to get the ball in them tricky positions, and then they can cut in here. Finesse shot, as you're going to see later. Guys, stick around. There's some gameplay clips where I'll talk through what type of play you need but more importantly what you need to do with them but yeah guys 50 width on attack that's so you can cut in and finesse or run down the line and cross it or even just bait it and run and pass the ball players in box we're going for six now i always used to have six until this year on the 4 3 2 one i do have seven and that is my favorite formation but for this my og formation the formation i used in pro games for two years i like six corners and free kicks are two i've said that in every video they're pretty standard no one really cares do what you want for me Two's perfect. Now, onto the instructions. The easiest instructions you'll ever see in a pro tactics. First things first. CDMs. Stay back, cover center. Stay back, cover center. Full backs. Stay back, overlap. Stay back, overlap. That's it, genuinely. We leave the cams and the strikes on balance. They can make them runs out wide, make the runs into space, and they, they really, really work together. It's especially good for pressing your opponent. As you can see, it's like a 4-4-2 with them two advanced wingers that can cut inside and finesse. As I said, I'll show you soon. Now, what do you need in each position? Left striker, you want someone who's big, can win a header. Right striker, someone who's quick, skillful, a finisher. Ram, a left-footed player with gold finesse. Lamb, a right-footed player with gold finesse. All five-star weak foot, but yeah. This is perfect, guys, to use that weak foot as well and even them skill moves. The dribbling is the most important, though. CDM, you want someone who can play a pass or two and someone who's more of a tackler, which is what we've got. A great balance or just whatever you like. At this stage in the game, every card is so good, you can get away with two De Bruyne's or two De Paul's or whatever you like. Right back and left back, just two traditional right backs. In this formation, you haven't got anyone on balance, so you can actually deal with them both on stay back. You can go for a Rodri right back, a Havertz, a Militao, a Hozalu. They don't need to be agile. Right, that's the tactics. Guys, don't click off. Watch these gameplay clips and you'll see exactly why this formation is so, so overpowered. So guys, here we are with them gameplay clips. And first things first, the press that I mentioned. Look at our two CDMs there. Two wide players and two strikers working as a unit. Be direct. Give it to that striker after the press and just run at the goal. You'll see it again here. Win the ball up high. Where Lauren James is stood in these transitions is so perfect. She's out wide, but can receive the ball and play in the striker. We red time the shot and it goes in. But again, being direct, giving it to that striker and just running at the goal. It sounds so simple, but it's so, so effective. Be patient, wait for the goalkeeper movement and you'll get that easy goal, as you can see again here. Now, what you saw there, Lauren James and Messi, what they do is they provide so much space for the striker that it's so easy to score goals. As you can see here, zipped into the striker, onto James, out wide to that triggered run in Havertz, bait the shot, come inside, red time the shot and score anyway. Guys, there's a theme here. We keep red timing it, but be brave with that left back and right back because look, we're making chances. One more, one more again. Messi greens it. Like it's so easy to make chances because look where Messi is again. We're out wide. 
Could have finessed it. We want one more. We want one more for that easy open goal. Now we're out wide again, hitting Messi on that wide flank into Rodri. Look at the runs, me. Look at the runs. One more to Haaland. Green time finish. What a monster. Guys, this is how to build up from your keeper. Hit the fullback, trigger him. Hit the DM, give it him back if you like. Into the striker now, then hit the wide player. Because then you've got that pattern of like, you see what I mean? Then Haaland's in on goal at the back seat. We'll green that for good measure. As you see, the fullback changed everything there. Then hit the striker because the wide player, as you can see here, triggered can make all that difference. Again, the wide player's there. We bait it. Come inside. Green time finish. Keeper's got no chance. It's as easy as that. Even here, we tackle him. Again, fullback now. Into the wide player in so much space. Be brave. Beat that man and run with the ball. Now can we look for an option? We're looking for, we're looking for Mbappe. We bait that. We come inside. We hit that green finesse. Guys, be brave with the with the wingers because look here. We do another sort of similar dribble. We get fouled. Oh no. Do you know what I mean? It, it, we just go again. Be cheeky with the wingers. Finesse. Green. As I said in the thing, just use that finesse gold. Again, look. look at, we just get him off our back like that. It's so easy. Finesse green hits the bar. It's unlucky. Into Lauren James on the other side now. Elastico. Green finesse. Goal. Again, Havertz winning it up high. What can we do? Step over. Into Lauren James. Can we give it to Havertz back? No. Green finesse. It's so overpowered and it's so meta. Guys, I know you don't like it when I'm, when I'm doing all these glitches. But what can you do? It's the best way to score. Again, we're just in because of this formation's amazing player positioning. We're all inside. Get that finesse. But we missed. Again, we have a finesse. Keep saves out for a corner. What happens now? We just score the corner. The finesse is so overpowered because if it doesn't go in, it's going out for a corner or hitting the bar like that one instance. Or skying it like me by accident. I didn't mean to. Again, bait the finesse. Run down the line. Pass across goal. We get a penalty. I don't really know what for. But yeah. The finesse is so important in this formation because look at where our players are stood. I have so much space to run into. Fullback's out of the equation. We bait it. Do a cross. Goal. Again, win the ball up high with Rodri. That clamper. Inter, James. Bait the finesse. Not really bait the finesse, but run out, outside instead of run inwards. Because this guy's used to me finessing it. So if I run away, then yeah. Also, another cross. Bang. Lauren James winning that header. This is what I mean, guys. You can bait that finesse in other ways. And also, the kickoff glitch still works in this formation due to the player positioning. And we don't just score, we put them in a TikTok. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe for more. Peace. Soo. Do you want to play out from the back in FIFA, but your keeper is more like De Gea than Edison? Who should be higher rated in EAFC? Liao or Dembele? Get off the game, man. 3-0 whitewash. Throw that pad. You're done. <laughs>